Neighbors. The next ties all Muslims must maintain and fulfill the rights of are their neighbors. In a hadith found in Sahih Bukhari, number 6014, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised that he was encouraged to treat neighbors kindly to such an extent that he thought that a neighbor would become an heir of every Muslim. Unfortunately, this duty is often neglected, even though treating one's neighbors kindly is an important aspect of Islam. First of all, it is important to note that a person's neighbor in Islam includes all those people who are living within 40 houses in each direction to a Muslim's home. This is confirmed in a hadith found in Imam Bukhari's Adab al-Mufrad, number 109. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, once connected belief in Allah, the Exalted, and Judgment Day, to treating a neighbor kindly, in a hadith found in Sahih Muslim, number 174. This hadith alone is enough to indicate the seriousness of treating neighbors kindly. A hadith found in Imam Bukhari's Adab al-Mufrad, number 119, warns that a woman who fulfilled her obligatory duties and offered much voluntary worship would go to hell because she mistreated her neighbors through her speech. If this is the case for the one who harms their neighbor through words, can one imagine the seriousness of physically harming one's neighbor? A Muslim must be patient when mistreated by their neighbor. In fact, a Muslim should treat them kindly in cases like this. Repaying good with good is not difficult. A good neighbor is the one who repays harm with good. A Muslim should respect the private space of their neighbor's property, but at the same time greet them and offer them help without being too intrusive. They should be supported by whatever means is available to a person, such as financial or emotional support. A Muslim should always conceal the faults of their neighbors. The one who conceals the faults of others will have their faults concealed by Allah, the Exalted. And the one who exposes the faults of others, Allah, the Exalted, will expose their faults and publicly disgrace them. This is confirmed in a hadith found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 4880. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com